Hey guys, what the heck is going on? Sam here. So coming to you today with an awesome match for me and a buddy of mine named Matt. Um, this is recorded at one of the locals that I go to. Um, this one is in Muskogee, Oklahoma, and uh, he is uh, he is the Utopia Duelist on YouTube. You guys go check him out. His channel is pretty cool. He's uh, he just started not too long ago. Um, but anyway, we met up uh, the other day at Locals, and he was like, hey man, we should record this, and I was like, right on. So he, he kind of wanted to showcase Utopias on the channel, um, because, you know, I and I feel they're, they're kind of an underrated deck, um, you know, a lot like Fluffle, so it's really cool to see two Rogue decks going at it. Um, you know, anybody that knows me and watches the channel, you guys know that I love Rogue. Um, so it's, this, is, this was just really cool to play and really cool to film. So um, anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this, and he goes into, he opens up his famous you know, uh, trick clown combo um, for any, you know, clown blade slash hat format or, you know, or hat deck or whatever, you know, it's just, it's just a nice combo to open up because King of the Fair Limbs is pretty much your go-to guy. Um, he searches out all your stuff, keeps your plays going, um, floods the field, um, keeps searching like your Kage's and your, um, all, just pretty much all your reptiles I hope to spam. And then you take your exceeds, you go into F-Zero, and then, um, I don't know if he does something else after this. Really just kind of depends on what all he has. Yeah, Instant Fusion. I, he's probably going to go into that too. Um, yeah, Instant Fusion. Um, and I'm not sure what he goes into right here. I want to say it is Cowboy, but I could be wrong. We'll see. Um, he did that backwards. <laughs> he even said, he's like, crap, man, he said it backwards. <laughs> I'm like, it's all good, man. So, um, what is he going into? He's pretty much just trying to flood out the board and see what I'm... I'm gonna do because you know he knows me and he knows these fluffles are kind of like unpredictable sometimes and uh, not everybody knows exactly what to do so um, yeah cowboy just burned me for eight he's got an F zero on the field two back row one of them's a mirror force and a Gaga cowboy um, a pretty decent board if I don't say so myself um, F zero he's explaining me the whole thing because at the at the time you know once you ain't seen a card for a while you're like what's that do again and then you just kind of look at your hand and you're like well hell. <laughs> so F zero is kind of a hard card to get over. Um, sometimes you have to just kind of keep punching it in the face until you can um, really just attack enough over it to where it just kind of you know the opponent takes that many life points or whatever. So uh, okay, so Twin Twister, I open it up. Um, I run Triple Twin Twister for this reason. Look at that, he's got two forces on the field: um, Mirror Force and I think it's a Blazing. So Matthew, may the Force not be with you. Um, and I pitched the poly. Um, that's not a really bad thing either. Um, anybody that plays this deck, you guys know that really kind of any of your fusion spells in the grave can be used later on in the game anyway. Um, what's really good about this deck, like I've said before, is everything in the grave is completely recyclable and just has another purpose later on in the game. Uh, and it really helps keep hand advantage the whole entire match. Um, and it's really, really good. So, Seraphonite, dump uh, my Gym Knight and my. Um, wings and then let's see what we're going for right now um, I believe I sent bear bear is in the grave now get the toy vendor out on the field activate wings you do your pot of greed slash row to play um, and yeah it's just really good um, I drew into another brilliant which isn't a bad idea um, which is not a bad idea. It's not. It's not a bad thing in this deck, and I'll get into that more here in a little bit. But um, pretty much what it is is, um, you know, I always make sure I summon Seraph Knight in attack mode just to get that extra damage in, um, and just to kind of keep that board a little bit stronger because zero defense, anything can, can beat over it. Um, but I always summon in attack because I always have more than enough spells in my hand. Um, you can ditch a uh, toy vendor off of like the brilliant and Seraph Knight. To make it 20, keep it at 2300 for anybody that doesn't know, it's zeroed out right now until I decide to pitch a spell here in a little bit. So if you ditch Toy Vendor, that's good. If you ditch Fusion Substitute, that's good. You get pluses off of all those, either right then or the next play in the game. Um, if you draw into another Brilliant, um, you obviously can't use another one in that turn, so you can pitch that. And that's why, that's why you know, that drawing that other Brilliant Fusion was not a bad um, deal, really. So, um, so summoning Dog, trying to figure out what I'm searching at the moment. Uh, because I've already used my bear and wing combo and, and if I ever have like another dog or another wings or another bear in my hand just to, you know just to see if I can get the playoff the next turn um, I always try to you know kind of rack up my stuff to see if I can 
you know, just kind of store it for the next turn. So I summon dog again. I don't get the other search, but really what I'm trying to do is just go into Castile. Um, Seraphonite um, allows that extra summon, which is really cool. So um, yeah, just pretty much shuffling that thing back into the deck. And at this point, I'm not, I'm, I'm sure, pretty sure that I'm not um, really trying to like go for game. I think I'm just trying to more or less set up a, a bigger def defense um, because you know the cowboy. I don't know why. I'm just at 2400, <laughs> it's stupid, man. And, like I didn't have anything that could get over it this turn. I was just kind of trying to build up some hand advantage um, slash, you know, just keeping stuff on the field, trying to keep it up a board. Um, it was just really good. Um, hand, my hand at the time is not bad because I've got Al. Al will uh, allow me to plus into a poly or fusion substitute or whatever the heck I need. Bear is going to float, obviously, in a toy vendor, which will float. So I'm in good shape, and I've got some stuff on the field. I think he's got one card in hand and really one monster on the field. So at the time, I do have the advantage, which is good. I pass it to him. Pretty much just sets and uses Cowboy's effect. Um, I've taken... 16 I believe and I believe he's taking 2k this game and uh, yeah he's Switching it to attack or I think he was debating on switching it to attack because I um, you know a lot of people don't know that um, uh, Gary Gary Cowboy has a um, Effect that you can actually use when it's in attack mode versus when it's in defense mode. So um, he actually um, Kind of brainstorms with that for a little bit too um, but he just decides to do the defense one. That's cool. He decides to not special back Trick Climb, I think, because he's already taken a lot of damage um, from it. And I think that he knows that I may OTK this next turn unless I can figure out something. So um, I top deck an Insta Fusion. Insta Fusion is good because obviously you have your Norden and then you have your, your three sheep. And uh, yeah, Insta Fusion is kind of like an endless play in this deck. Like you can do so much stuff with it. Um, I regret never running it. I regret, like, not running it at two or three, to be honest with you. Like, um, people try to tell me a while back, hey, you need to run that. I'm just, I really don't want to. Um, Twin Twister, I decided to search out Fusion Substitute um, with Al instead of searching out Poly um, because I believe that it is what I'm going to be pitching um, in order to use a Twin Twister. Um, so, yeah, destroys back row, which was a Grand Horn, which is really good because that would have probably stopped me in my tracks also sent me straight to battle phase and I wouldn't be able to attack over that cowboy anyway with what I have on the field so um, yeah uh, fusion substitute I have another video about that if you guys are kind of curious about that card um, it's a really really good card for this deck this is one reason why this is one combo that I love and it's a plus two helps you keep crazy hand advantage um, you go if you have fusion substitute in the grave you go into fairy cheer girl with Norton and dog because they're two fairies right here you detach your Norton which, because of Fairy Cheer Girl's effect, lets you draw a card right there. And then whenever Fusion Substitute's in the grave, you banish Fusion Substitute, return Norden back so you can use Instant Fusion later if you need to, and draw another because of Fusion Substitute. So it's a plus two, and you get a 1900 beat stick on the field, um, and then if it survives until the next turn, you pretty much get to do it again. So it's really, really good. Um, and I, hopefully this play right here convinces you guys that this... Um, card fusion substitute is is pretty valuable in the deck uh i I, mean, I just love that combo like i figured that out like probably a few months ago just kind of play testing with the deck and I, I was just like holy nuts dude that card is crazy like, i loved it before just because of plus one like you know you could pop your own seraph knight or with tiger or whatever and kind of you know just kind of extend your plays after you double normal summon and but it was just intense like what what it can do all in all so um i'm pretty sure i have game right here um, I had had game really kind of before that I drew, but I drew in that toy vendor, which kind of even helped even more. Um, use bear, set the toy vendor. Pretty, pretty much, I'm gonna pitch toy for toy, which is good regardless. No matter what you um, get off of the plus, you're gonna end up searching anyway. So I'm not sure. I didn't get it in camera, or whatever. I have plus. So um, dog, I'm gonna search for sabers. Allure of darkness. Draw two because of that. Um, Banish the Sabers, and I drew into Wings, and something else. Um, and I think right here, I actually used um, Fluffle Owl's effect instead of, um, because I don't know if I had another Poly in the deck. Uh, maybe I did, or maybe I just, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to use King of the Swamp for later. I didn't know what he had face down, so. 
Um, that's whenever he just kind of said, all right, you know, I fold. He didn't really have anything else. So we're on game two now. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a different map that he has on his side of the field. We're out of locals. And, and uh, Malcolm, Team Dark Duelist, was like, hey, man, that's my map. <laughs> you're using my map the whole time. And he's like, oh, crap, my bad. So he had to give him his map back. And uh, anyway, I'm going second again. Uh, twin Twister, man. Gosh, if you're running Fluffles and you can, and you have three Twin Twister, you can afford it. Do it. It it saves your butt so many times. I'm um, just opening up Twin Twister and just being able to ditch. Like I ditched the wings right there. Like that's gonna be good later on. Um, and you know if you can ditch like Twin or ditch a chain, ditch anything, you can mirror fuse with a ditch fusion substitute. Um, you don't neg ever. Even if you're destroying one of theirs, the one that you send to the grave, you're gonna end up getting back later for it anyway so um toy vendor and wings draw one pop it draw another um and then i search so that's kind of how it goes right here um searching for i don't know if i can game this turn i'm not sure um but I'm not sure what i'm doing here okay no i know what i'm doing okay so i'm returning dog back up to my because I have sheep and sabers, um, and I have a king of the swamp. I have a way to search out a poly. What I'm doing, I, I usually try to recycle from the grave. I don't usually recycle from my hand because it doesn't, I like just that extra plus. Um, you know, I'm all about the pluses and I'm all about the hand advantage, but, um, so I search out fusion substitute. They have to be on the field for you to activate fusion substitute, uh, which there's like, like you see right here, there's ways to play around it. Um, right, uh, Fluffle Sheep is one of the um, guys that really helps you play around your fusion substitute. Um, and if you open it, um, you know, it's not bad. It helps you really kind of, um, you know, still get that plus later on in the game. So now, now I get out Tiger. Tiger's going to pop his blazing. Or, uh, I'm not sure which Mirror Force that is. Let me know down in the comments. I, I forget. I get them all mixed up. They have like 80 of them now. And this one it was just like Mirror Force. <laughs> so um, Tiger pops that. Now, like I said, again, Fusion Substitute is now in the grave. Um, if I wanted to, I could go. Um, into some more plays, but you know, I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to game it right there anyway, so I was kind of seeing what he was doing. I could go into my instant fusion into Norton again, into uh, dog if dog next time dog's in the grave. If it's in the grave, maybe I don't know, maybe that's what I'll do next year. I don't know. So he pretty much just pulls out the right gecky on me, which isn't too bad because I'm the lost one monster, so it's just kind of a one for one. Um, Summons out the Photon Thrasher, and sets one, and he passes, and I top deck the chain. So, um, right here we're going into Dog. Um, Dog's going to search for Bear, and discard the Bear, get Toy Vendor up. Um, I want to say I have game right here, but I could be wrong. Um, Twin Twister again. Okay, guys. Hopefully this shows you. Man, Twin Twister just saves you so many times. It's, it's not even funny. Uh, what did I discard right there? Fluffle, I believe. Yeah. So, um, discarded Wings, I think. Shoot, I can't remember what was in my hand a second ago. Either way, Wings was in the grave. Draw two. And you get to search, which is still really good. Even now today, it's just stupid awesome. Um, and if you guys can't see out of all of this, um, I still remain with five or six cards in my hand. I really hardly ever have less than that in my hand unless it comes down to the grind game. Um, you know, because I, I you just, this deck really just allows you to plus so much. Like, it's it's really stupid. Everything floats. You get all your cards back whenever you use, like, your resources. So, um, I use a poly with those. And then searching out the Frag for Fusion. That's when you know it's about to go down, is whenever you search out the Frag for Fusion. Um, he's got Photon Thrasher. I don't think he has any cards in his hand. I, th I think I kind of stripped him of everything. Um, Twin Twister really helped, guys. Um, and just being able to um, get out the stuff that um, was going to destroy me. and Because uh, you saw all those cards that were really kind of, kind of, you know, bite me in the butt later on. Um, and really just kind of pitching all the stuff that was going to be able to make me plus later on. Really just helps me keep that advantage. So, um, this play is awesome again, guys. Like, run fusion substitute, like, for real. Plus one off a of fairy chair girl. Um, return Norton back to the deck so you can use it later. 
um, and then take Fusion Substitute, banish it to return the Norden and you get the draw on another. It's so insanely stupid. Um, and the fact that Fusion Substitute is searchable by the King of the Swamp. Not only the fact that um, you can open it, it's searchable by Owl, um, it is used as a poly. Um, it's treated as poly for every single thing that you can do with poly. So, I mean, you just, you saw me over this match. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can um, see that Fusion Substitute is the bomb.com and you should totally run it. Um, and here I'm searching out another poly with the king, the king of the swamp. Um, brilliant Fusion. Going into Seraph and I. Um, oh yeah, in case anybody was wondering what that is, that's a Gemini Tourmaline. I like to call him Tortellini. Uh, he is a uh, he's a Gemini Earth Monster level four. Um, I like to call him Tortellini because I mean I like Italian food and I think Tortellini is a really really good Italian food. So <laughs> you can use whatever you want. You can use any of the generic ones. You can use Garnet was really good because of um, because of uh, you know like. Mass Chameleon and stuff. This one has 18 defense. Uh, Garnet has zero. Believe it or not, that 18 defense came in handy one time. Uh, and I was just using that temporarily until I could get a Garnet. And if you're going to stall, it's better to stall, I believe, the 18 defense better than just a 1900 attack. Um, I need it more than stall, more than I do for attack. So, um, yeah. Um, it, it really never comes down to having to like summon that thing, like normal summon or anything, but in case it does. Um, anyway, so that is the end of the duel right here, guys. Uh, Pop Tiger. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Go check out Team Bro Power. You guys go check out um, the Utopia Duelist while you're at it. Um, and yeah, I, hate, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I've got Fluffles for sale if you guys need my email down in the link description. And we'll see you guys later.